Hello everybody. In today's session, we are going to learn about multiplications of vectors. Okay. In the previous session, we have studied how to add two vectors. Multiplication of two vectors. It is not like simple multiplication. Two into three is equal to six. It is not like that. Okay. In the case of multiplication of vectors, there are two types. One is dot product of two vectors. Other is cross product of two vectors. Okay. In this session, we are going to study about dot product of two vectors. What is that? We will see. Let me consider a vector. Say there is a vector with me, vector A, and there is one more vector, vector B. Say the angle between A and B is theta. Now, dot product of two vectors A and B is given by dot product A dot B is given by A dot B is equal to magnitude of vector A into magnitude of vector B into cos theta. What is theta? Theta is the angle between A and B. Okay. Or simply you can write magnitude of a vector can be simply written as magnitude of A is equal to A, magnitude of B is equal to B into cos theta. A dot B is defined as A into B into cos theta. Now let us suppose that we will take an example. <coughs> there is a vector A. What is A dot A? What is A dot A? Magnitude of A into magnitude of A into into cos theta. What is the angle between A and A? Correct na? Zero degree. Huh? What is cos zero? Cos zero equal to one. Sin zero is zero. Cos zero is one. Okay. So what happened? A dot A is equal to A square. Okay. Remember, A dot A is equal to A square. <coughs> now, uh, what if uh, I dot I? What is I dot I? What is I cap? I cap is a unit vector along x axis. Unit vector means what? What is the magnitude of unit vector? 1. If the magnitude of a vector is unity, then it is called unit vector. What is I cap dot I cap? Magnitude of I cap 1. What is magnitude of I cap 1? Why? Because it is a unit vector into magnitude of I cap into. What is the angle between I cap and I cap? 0. What is cos 0? Cos 0 is 1. So I dot I is 1. Similarly, similarly, j cap dot j cap is equal to k cap dot k cap is equal to 1. Because both of the vectors are acting in the same direction. Okay. Now, what is, what is i, i cap dot j cap? Okay. i dot j equal to magnitude of i into magnitude of j, magnitude of j is also 1, y, what is j cap, j cap is a unit vector along y axis, into what is angle between i and j, what is i cap, what is i cap basically, i cap is a unit vector along x axis, correct na, i cap is a unit vector along x axis, j cap is a unit vector along y axis, what is angle between i and j, angle between i and j is 90 degree. What is cos 90 degree? Cos 90 degree is 0. So, I dot J is equal to 0. Therefore, therefore, I dot J, okay, I dot J is equal to J dot K is equal to K dot I all are equal to 0. Okay. Next, uh, we will uh, see one or two properties. Okay, one or two properties of uh, dot product. Okay, one first property is dot product is commutative means a dot b is equal to b dot a. Why? a dot b means a b cos theta. b dot a means b a cos theta. What is a and b? a is a scalar, b is a scalar. Correct now. See, here, what is a dot b? a dot b means a, what is a? a is magnitude of this vector. Magnitude of a vector is scalar. B means what? Means here there is no direction. This is also a scalar. This is also a scalar. Cos theta. Cos theta is a number. Theta is an angle. Cos theta is a number. For example, cos 0, 1. It is a number. So this is a scalar. This is a scalar. This is a number. All these are scalars. That is why scalar dot product, dot product of two vectors is a scalar. That is why we, we call dot product as scalar product. Okay. Now, when you have two scalars, like numbers, if you have 2 into 3 or 3 into 2, both are same, na? Therefore, 
a dot b is equal to b dot a that is it is commutative dot product is commutative then dot product is distributive dot product is distributive dot product is distributive so what does it mean a dot b plus c is equal to a dot b plus b a dot c dot product is distributive then if a dot b is equal to 0 then a and b are orthogonal orthogonal means what angle between they are perpendicular to each other angle between angle between a and b is 90 degree if the angle between a and b is 90 degree then a dot b is equal to 0 okay so for example yeah i think we have seen here angle between see i dot g why i dot j i dot j is 0 why because angle between i and j is 90 degree okay yes <clears throat> now we will solve one uh, simple problem to understand dot product okay let us suppose that uh, vector a is given by ax into i cap plus bx into j cap plus sorry ay into j cap okay ay into j cap plus a z into k cap one more vector vector b is given by b x into i cap plus b y into j cap plus b z into k cap now what is a dot b okay, what is a dot b a dot b is equal to okay a x into b x a x b x a x b x into i dot i i dot i plus ax into by huh? into i dot j what is i dot j i dot j is 0 correct na? see i dot j is 0 i i dot uh, j dot k is 0 k dot i is 0 okay only i dot i j dot j k dot k is 1 so therefore 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 this into this becomes 0. This into this becomes 0. Correct now. Similarly, ay into by will be remaining. j dot j is 1. Any other terms will be 0 because it is j dot i, this is j dot k. So therefore, only these terms remain. ax bx into i dot i plus, plus ay by into j dot j, j dot j plus az bz, az bz into k dot k but we know that i dot i is equal to j dot j is equal to k dot k is equal to 1 so therefore a dot b is equal to a x b x plus a y b y plus a z b z hope it is very simple you can understand okay we will solve one simple problem okay factor a is given by 2 i cap minus 3 j cap plus 4 k cap Vector B is given by minus 2i cap plus 3j cap plus 5k cap. Okay, what happens? A dot B, A dot B is equal to 2 into minus 2, AX into BX, 2 into minus 2, okay. Then plus, plus, minus 3 into plus 3, that is minus 9, plus 5 into 4, that is 20. So what happened? So 2 into minus 2 is uh, minus 4. This is minus 9. This is plus 20. So this is minus 13. Minus 13 plus 20. So it is 7. A dot B is equal to 7. We got a number and it is a scalar. That is why we call we call dot product of two vectors as a scalar product. One more simple example. Vector A. Vector A is given by. Vector A is equal to. 2i cap plus 2j cap okay vector b is equal to 2j cap plus 5k cap now we have to be very careful now we have to write these two vectors properly okay vector a is equal to 2i cap plus 2j cap plus 0k cap vector b is equal to 0i cap plus 2j cap plus 5k cap so 
what happens a dot b a dot b is equal to 2 into 0 is 0 plus 2 into 2 is 4 plus 5 into 0 is 0 so a dot b is equal to 4 when all the components are not given you have to write like this you rewrite the equation then you find the dot product next we will learn one more concept this dot product this dot product is used is very important the dot product is used is used to calculate to calculate to calculate the angle between two vectors dot product is used to calculate the angle between two vectors the angle between two vectors okay we will see an example so what is what is a dot b basically a dot b is equal to a b cos theta don't think that i am fast okay if i am fast see the video twice try to understand make a notes it will be okay correct now a dot b is equal to a b cos theta okay what is cos theta then cos theta is equal to a dot b divided by a b cos theta is equal to a dot b divided by a b now uh, now we will uh, try to understand this using an example say there are two vectors given to you vector a is equal to 2i cap plus 2j cap vector a is equal to 2i cap plus 2j cap and vector b is given by minus minus 2i cap minus 2i cap plus 2j cap what is the angle between them huh. so we have to use this formula first we have to find out a dot b correct now what is a dot b what is a dot b vector a dot b is equal to huh, 2 into minus 2 okay what is that 2 into minus 2 is minus 4 huh, plus 2 into 2 is plus 4 okay what is a dot b a dot b is equal to 0 if a dot b is equal to 0 then we have property if a dot b is equal to 0 then angle between a and b is 90 degree or we can we can calculate see even if you don't know this uh, property what we can do <laughs> a dot b is equal to 0 correct now so cos theta is equal to 0 divided by a b 0 divided by what is 0 by anything 0 by anything is 0 so this implies theta equal to cos inverse of 0 means theta is equal to 90 degree correct now because cos 90 is 0 so therefore cos inverse of 0 uh, is pi by 2 hope you can understand now we will try to uh, visualize this whether we whether this answer is correct or not we will cross check okay so which are the two vectors that we have considered we had considered vector a is equal to 2 i cap plus 2 j cap and vector b is equal to minus 2 i cap plus 2 j cap we will draw these two vectors okay graphically graphically this is x axis this is y axis okay this is 1 meter this is 2 meter okay this is uh, this is minus 1 this is minus 2 this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 and so on vector a means 2i cap plus 2j cap 2i cap plus 2j cap correct now this is vector a what is this angle 45 degree what is vector b minus 2i cap uh, minus minus i cap means what negative x direction plus 2j cap correct now plus 2j cap so this is vector b this is vector b what is angle between them see this is 45 degree okay this is also 45 degree this is 45 degree now what is angle between them is angle between them is 90 degree we know before solving the problem only we can identify that this is the angle is 90 degree but why we have done it is because to cross check to understand how to find angle between two vectors using dot product okay now i'll give you a work i'll give a work solve this problem okay solve this problem and the answer should come in the comment section okay homework two vectors are given to you vector a is equal to <coughs> vector a is equal to vector a is equal to 2i cap vector a is equal to 2i cap vector b is equal to vector b is equal to vector b is equal to 2i cap plus 2j cap vector b is equal to 2i cap plus 
2j. What is the angle between the two vectors? What, what is the angle between what is the angle between a and b? It's a very very simple. Okay, very very simple. So please uh, write your answer in the comment section. Hope you have understood the scalar product or dot product. Okay. While uh, we are dealing with vector quantities like force, uh, okay, displacement, okay, or torque, okay, sometimes we have to use dot product, sometimes we have to use cross product, it is not like simple multiplication, okay, when to use dot product, when to use cross product, let me, uh, let me explain in the, okay, next class, okay, thank you very much.